guys and welcome to today's video! I don't know why, but the intro is a bit quiet. I don't know why I feel like I'm losing my voice or something. But, but yeah, um, I made this. Alright, so this is the, the, well, this is the FTX out by Horror Up, but this is the trailer that I made. Um, so yeah, I didn't do like a tutorial of me making it because it took over a week and I spent like nearly 30 quid on it. But you know, it's, it's um, it works. It, and it moves and everything and it's got like s s working suspension and all sorts it's amazing right okay so first thing you're asking where'd you get the wheels from or are they off the mn 99s um yeah so that's that and also the axle is as well i didn't do a very good job i literally just cable tied it on but you know it it, it works also all these lights and stuff on the back are from the mn the number plate isn't i made that you, you just like check my other videos and you'll see it all the accessories are from the MN this isn't going to stay like this don't worry I need some scissors but the scissors are downstairs and I can't be bothered to go get them so I'll leave it like that until I get some scissors yeah also the front wheel and the rope the rope looks a bit messy at the minute but yeah that's that's what that is yeah I use this this is the wood like real wood and it was from my school project we made that thing uh, ages ago and I, yeah, I had to fix it with pencils and stuff, but I actually just took the wood out of it because it didn't really work. So, um, yeah, these are the D-Links that I got in the uh, RC, like, I think it was a £10 RC accessories kit off Amazon. And I got two D-Links, and as soon as I already had them on my truck, two at the front and two at the back, or the other way around. Yeah, I decided to screw this one to the bottom of the bumper, like actual screw it and everything i had to like heat up a needle and stuff and put water so a lot of sand in there and then that one i literally just nailed it on because it it was easier that way and i uh I don't know whether you could see that but i trimmed the nails on the bottom so yeah also i need to sharpie all of that on the bottom because once i put the nails through underneath there there's some nails that go through the body into the into the the uh, what's it thing and um yeah i need to trim i trim them off but i need to color it in, in black sharpie you don't really see it but you know this i mean it's a tow chain but i just liked it because it looked cool on there so i put that on there this is actually um like a foldable shelves kit and i literally just took the wooden shelf off and and like you know, you can see it's like MDF type of stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I made a base, four sides, and um, halfway through I decided that the back was too small, so I just um, made it into a tailgate. But this, if you flip these nails up, it works. But that, that's a bit of the nail that snapped off, because if you look on the bottom there, it's meant to have like one of them on it, but it don't, it snapped off. Because, hold on, let me hold my phone properly. When it opens, them things stop it from going anymore. But that one snapped off, so I need to reshape some na nails. Cause uh, and yeah, it doesn't look bad. The floor is made out of lollipop sticks. I made it look like it's a bit scratched and stuff, but I need to do some more. But yeah, I was gonna cover these up, but I didn't because it looks like some toe hitches, like some bungee hitches. So that's what I did. Got a bike in there, a jerry can underneath there. There's some wood. There's a bed roll there, top, and a, like a tiny car that looks like an RC car. It's all like glued into place, so none of it, all the top isn't, but and that, but it's all glued into place, so it won't move, hopefully. And um, oh yeah, the this stuff, I had to buy this, which is aluminium tape, and it's literally like real metal, but it's it's sticky on the back. So like, look how thin the metal is. It's like really bendy so yeah that's what that stuff is and i made that i scuffed up the brillo pad to make it look like it's been through some bushes and stuff and make it all like weathered and things so yeah that's what it should look like that's what it looks like now i'll probably end up using this in the future maybe i'll redo these side steps or the bumper or something i don't know but yeah I'll, um that's good so yeah um i hope you like the video and subscribe and stuff and yeah this took a week to make and 30 quid of my pocket money to make 
And my hands are so sore. The amount of nails I put through my fingers to build that, that's appalling. That's what it looks like with the body on, if you wanted to know. So it's not quite as tall as the tailgate, and it does look like it's leaning back quite a bit. But once you drag it, that'll go like that, and it will be perfect. So, yeah, that's everything, and now um, I'll see you in a bit. Also, subscribe. Look at the number, what do you mean? Bye.